Hello Pisces, welcome to your monthly reading. So Pisces, these messages are going to be for the month of October. Remember not everything is going to resonate. Take what does, apply it, leave the rest. So Pisces, I'm going to go ahead and jump right into your energy. Spirit, give me some messages for Pisces, please. October messages for the sign of Pisces. I'm hearing Pisces Moon, Pisces Venus, and Scorpio Rising. If you have any of those placements, this message is especially for you. Let's go. And a Taurus Sun. Give me some energy for Pisces, please. Why is Pisces here? I mean, <laughs> we know why you're here, Pisces. <laughs> Give me some energy for Pisces, please. What messages do you have for them? Okay. Ooh, the Six of Swords. So for some of you, you could be being guided to move away from a situation. Yeah, we have the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy, Leo, Scorpio, Scorpio rising, um, Aquarius, and Taurus, Taurus sign. Okay very significant if you have any of those placements like i had stated but yeah something's happening in divine timing here time is up for something i'm hearing give me some energy on the six of swords why is the six of swords here somebody could be studying a lot somebody could be thinking about going back to school somebody could also be doing some research here as well Give me, um, I'm looking at this, um, it looks like a little devil to me, <laughs> a little devil. I feel like somebody could be like very toxic and some devil energy here. I have the ace of wands. So for some of you, it's like you are being urged to move away from a situation in order to have a new beginning here. I have, um, the queen of cups and the eight of swords at the bottom of the deck. So you could be dealing with someone from your past, six of cups, um, water sign feminine pisces cancer scorpio um who's trying to have you stuck somebody wants you to constantly relive the past somebody keeps wanting you to um be focused on like past events somebody don't want you to grow up i'm hearing like um my toys are us kids so yeah somebody doesn't want you to change Somebody don't want you to evolve here, but it's like God is saying by you moving away from the situation, that is how you're going to get this blessing, this opportunity here for you, Pisces. Give me some more energy, please. Okay, so I have the Queen of Wands and I have um, the title card. So for some of you, um, somebody could definitely be very promiscuous here. With this queen of wands energy to the ace of wands for some of you you could be wanting to sleep with this person or this person could want to sleep with you but i'm getting like with this title card there's going to be some information coming out about this queen of wands energy fire sign feminine or somebody that has a highly aspected leo aries sagittarius here um give me some energy on this ace of wands why is this ace of wands here the hang one, Pisces, here you are. So somebody's caught up here or somebody's trying to get you caught up, Pisces. Give me another energy for this Ace of Wands. Why is this Ace of Wands here for Pisces? <laughs> I can't make it up, Ace of Cups. Somebody's trying to get you caught up here. Somebody is trying to get you caught up with a pregnancy. This is definitely somebody that you are sleeping with, you're entertaining. This person wants to get pregnant by you or um, get you pregnant in order to get you caught up. This is definitely somebody who you are sleeping with. Yeah, with the four of cups in the world. I feel like this person may be thinking like you're going to walk away from them. And so in order to trap you, they want to get pregnant from you. I feel like um, with these three cups down here, this person is like very methodical. They're thinking of a plan here, a master plan, Pisces, to catch you up. Give me some energy on the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here for Pisces? What do I have? Yep, the Nine of Wands. So this is definitely somebody you need to guard yourself from. I'm looking at how this Nine of Wands, looking at this Ace of Cups. Yeah, you need to protect yourself from this person. Give me another energy on 
<laughs> the Queen of Wands. I have the Sun in the Reverse and Eight of Cups. So this is somebody that you um, go back to or that you have went back to in the past with this Eight of Cups being in the Reverse. But I feel like with the Sun being in the Reverse, like... You keep going back to something or someone that really don't make you happy. Like, this is not where your fulfillment lies here. This could be a Leo feminine, but yeah. It's like you keep going back to this person, but you're not happy when you're there. Like, when you get over there, it's like you're miserable. Somebody keeps kind of trying to sell you a dream, false hope here, Pisces. But it's like you need to let it go because you end up being in this nine of wands energy, like feeling like you have to be guarded and protected around this person. Somebody kind of have you on pins and needles. Give me some energy for this title card. Why is this title card here? Strength, heavy on the Leo energy. I feel like somebody knows how to gaslight you. Like somebody wants you to drop your guard here. They know exactly what to say to get you to kind of like lower your inhibitions, so to speak. Because I'm looking at how her hand is on this lion. Like somebody um, knows how to use very good word play. But I feel like with the strength card also, Spirit is saying like this is somebody you need to like resist, hold back from. Um, give me some energy on this Ace of Cups. Why is this Ace of Cups here for Pisces? Yeah, it's time for you to walk away. Give me an energy on this Ace of Cups. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Yeah, the Three of Wands. Yeah, you need to move on. I feel like God is trying to offer you a new beginning with this Ace of Wands to this Ace of Cups. Like God is trying to say, I have your fulfillment, but you have to be willing to move on. Turn your back to this situation. That's the only way you're going to get this new beginning. I feel like with the Five of Swords, like this person may be trying to like cause a lot of drama, chaos in your life for some of you this person like could be kind of threatening you here like with this knight of pentacles of the five of swords this person may be trying to like force you to give them an offer of commitment give me an energy on the eight of cups why is the eight of cups in the reverse for pisces What do I have? Yep, the Ten of Wands. So it's like you keep going back to a situation that is just a burden. It's a struggle. It's a challenge here. Yeah, it's like you've tried multiple times and it's failed multiple times. It's kind of like you're holding on to a situation that doesn't make you happy. And you keep on ending up in this Nine of Wands energy where you feel like you have to defend yourself. Yeah, it's like you have to have your guards up with this person. You don't even really trust this energy, but you keep going back to this person. Give me something on strength. Why is strength here? for Pisces. Wow. The Ten of Pentacles. Give me another energy on strength. Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. You could be seeing the number 1010. 10. Yeah, it's time for you to release this situation. For some of you, this could be somebody that you have a family with or that you consider family. Somebody that um you do care about here. Yep, the world in the reverse. So for some of you, it's like you're refusing to close out a cycle here. With the world in the reverse. Or somebody's trying to block a cycle from closing. Something from ending out. Give me something on this Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. Why is this Ten of Pentacles here for Pisces? The Emperor... Aries energy. So somebody's definitely trying to make you a father. Or you're trying to make this person a father. Or this per masculine is trying to make you a mother. Or a mother again. Take it how it resonates if you already have children. But it's like... Give me one more on this Ten of Pentacles. In the reverse. The Two of Swords. So somebody's trying to confuse you here, Pisces. This person really don't want a family with you. They don't want a commitment. They're trying to confuse you. 
For some of you, this person may just want to get pregnant or get pregnant by you for financial reasons. Like this is somebody who wants to deplete you financially, who's looking for a come up here. Give me an energy and who wants to trap you. Yeah, eight of swords with a page of wands at the bottom of the deck with a child. Or um, give me some energy for the world. Why is the world in the reverse? The four of cups. For some of you, this person could be pregnant, but you may be telling this person like the baby's not mine or you don't believe the child is yours. Give me another energy on the world. Why is the world here? Yep, the Ten of Swords. So for some of you, you may be finding out that this child isn't yours here. Ten of Swords. Yeah, the ultimate betrayal here. Why is this Ten of Swords here for Pisces? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Pisces? Yeah, I have the Seven of Swords. Yeah, somebody's definitely being very deceptive. Nine of Swords. Yeah, somebody knows that whatever they've been doing in the dark is getting ready to come out. Yeah, you're going to be finding out that this child is not yours. I'm also hearing something about a fake pregnancy. For some of you, this person could have never been pregnant. Yeah, three of cups. Like somebody's been trying to play you for the fool and they've been celebrating behind the scenes. Somebody thought they were going to be able to get rid of, to get away with this. Give me an energy on this two of swords. Why is this two of swords here? Justice. So somebody's under judgment and I look what's at the bottom judgment Libra energy somebody's under judgment for what they've done look at this will of fortune again yeah somebody's going through karma and somebody did not see this coming for some of you this person's karma is to lose a lot yeah somebody's going to be losing a lot financially like somebody's ten of pentacles is going to be in the reverse like whatever they built for themselves is going to be no longer four of pentacles at the bottom of the deck somebody's going to be in lack they're going to be struggling but this is meant to happen somebody's going to be cut off financially because of this and they know this give me an energy on the nine of wands, nine of swords why is the nine of swords here for pisces the nine of swords for pisces please the chariot, cancer energy. Yeah, they know you're moving on. Yeah, somebody's know, this person know they're going to be rejected. You're turning away from them. You're turning your back on them once you find out about this deception. And for a lot of you, this deception is surrounding a pregnancy here. I'm also getting a miscarriage. So for some of you, this person could have miscarried, but could have hid the fact that they did miscarry and could have still been pretending as if they were still pregnant in order to get things out of you. Yeah, somebody was definitely using you financially, wanted um, an attachment to your inheritance, your generational wealth, but that is going to be no longer. Like whatever family unit you have with this person, that is over. And it's like this person did not realize that whatever they were doing behind the scenes was going to come out and they were going to receive karma for it. Yeah, and this person is stressing out here because they know you're going to be moving away from them. And you're moving away fast. You're being guided away from this person. Six of Swords in the Chariot. This is divine guidance. Everything is coming out in divine timing. You're about to see just how much of a liar this person is. How manipulative this person is just to get their way here, Pisces. Give me an energy on the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? For some of you, um, where this isn't you um, who is pregnant... Or um, somebody who's saying that they're pregnant by you. If, if you're dealing with a masculine here, um, this masculine um, got someone else pregnant. That's what I'm hearing. You're going to be finding that out. And it's like this masculine is going to be in this nine of swords energy because they've been trying to hide this from you. And they know that you're going to be moving on. Give me something on the Wheel of Fortune. Why is the Wheel of Fortune here? I feel like this person know they're going to take a major financial loss here. Yeah, page of wands in the reverse, Wheel of Fortune. Somebody's finding out that a child is not theirs, Knight of Wands. Yeah, somebody was just in a very lustful energy. Somebody was a Knight of Wands, very immature here, in and out. Yeah, this definitely could
could have been somebody you had a family with. Yeah, a family dynamic. You had feelings for this person. You wanted to build with this person. You thought this person was your Ten of Pentacles. But with this Ten of Pentacles being in reverse, you're finding out not so. Three of Swords. This person has betrayed you. Third party situation. And for some of you, this betrayal, Page of Pentacles, is surrounding a child. So let's go ahead and look at some more love messages. This situation was meant to happen this way, Pisces, because somebody needed to move on. So whether you're finding out a child isn't yours, somebody um, was saying they were pregnant and was not, or you're finding out that whoever you're dealing with got someone else pregnant, it's like, it was meant to happen this way. And for some of you, you're going to be finding out that this person got someone else pregnant, and you're going to walk away. That's their karma. But this person is going to go through double karma with this Wheel of Fortune being out here twice. So not only are they going to lose you because you're not finding out that you're in a third party situation. They were cheating on you. There was infidelity. Sneaky came out. Um, but there are other part of karma is going to be them finding out that the child is not theirs. So it's like they lost you because they were cheating and somebody ended up saying, you know, they were pregnant. And then they find out the child <laughs> isn't even there. So that's like double karma. So they missed out on the opportunity with you. And then it's like, you know, they're being hit with a double whammy here. Because they are not the father. Give me another energy, please, for Pisces. Another energy for Pisces. Yeah, somebody definitely is being very sneaky, very deceptive, entertaining other options, likes to deal with multiple people, have multiple third parties. Somebody somewhat like a playboy energy, playgirl energy here. What do I have? Yep, toxic, crazy, and insecurities. So for some of you, um, you're dealing with somebody who's obsessed. Yeah, I feel like for some of you with this sneaky, it's like you want to move on from this relationship, but it's kind of difficult because you feel trapped by this person because you know they'll fly off the hinges. And this is because this person has like past insecurities here. Um, it's like you feel somebody feels trapped when it comes to a relationship or dealing with someone. Give me something for sneaky. Why is sneaky here for Pisces, please? I have whole and missing you. So I feel like there's somebody that you wish to be with. And it's not your current person for some of you. Yeah, because I'm just looking at how she's looking over at him. Like he's completely detached. It's like you desire to be with someone else. Clarifying toxic crazy is solitude and self-love. So for some of you, this person acts out because they don't love themselves. This person is unhealed. And they project a lot of that negative energy on you. And it's definitely sabotaging the relationship, especially to the point where it's like you're looking outside of the relationship or this person is. Clarifying insecurities and sexual fantasy and distance. So I feel like for some of you, this person is worried about you leaving them, walking away, which definitely is an option for you because you are looking outside the connection. And I'm also getting this may be somebody who always... um accuses you of cheating sleeping with other people so it's like this is not a healthy situation you and this person argue fuss fight a lot um and it's like it's just pulling you further and further apart especially this person's accusations and again it's like you're looking for somebody who's more balanced because you're recognizing that this person really don't have that self-love they're unhealed they act out of jealousy and out of rage because of the things they've been through in their past that they're still holding on to and they're projecting a lot of that on the relationship. And it's just becoming a huge burden for you here, Pisces. Give me um, some energy for Pisces career, please. So, yeah, somebody's definitely thinking about moving on. I have the sun, Leo energy. So, I feel like you're definitely um, going to have a very successful 
month for you in terms of your career give me one more energy on the sun yeah if you do something online you're definitely going to be getting a lot of attention here pisces a lot of people um are going to be focusing on you i'm hearing stardom so this is you reaching a certain level of stardom lovers at the bottom of the deck gemini energy we have three major arcana so there's definitely going to be some major changes in your career here and this is like your divine path that you are on and with the knight of cups at the bottom for some of you you're going to be getting an opportunity when it comes to your your career i'm actually hearing a promotion so congratulations let me get one on the star for pisces yeah the knight of cups came right back out so yeah for some of you you're going to be getting an opportunity concerning on um, what you do in the public eye there's going to be somebody who wants to come in and work with you your final message for the month is we love because he first loved us, 1 John 4, 19. So know that you are love, Pisces. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.